Hey everyone, today we're talking about the Altered Scale, an essential tool for jazz improvisers. If you've ever wondered how to create tension over a chord like G7 Altered, this is the scale for you. Let's break it down step by step. Step one, what is the Altered Scale? The Altered Scale is built from the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale. It's used over dominant chords with altered tensions, like G7 Altered. Here's the easy trick to finding it. Go up a half step from the root of the altered chord and play the melodic minor scale from there. For G7 altered, that means you play the A flat melodic minor scale starting on G. Step two, what notes are in the scale? The altered scale includes the root and all the altered tensions. Let's spell out the notes for G7 altered. G, root, a flat, flat nine, sharp nine, B third or C flat, D flat, flat five, E flat, flat 13, F flat seven. Notice how it includes flat nine, sharp nine, flat five, and flat 13 teen. These tensions give the scale its unique colorful sound. Here's a simple way to practice. One, play the scale slowly in one octave, starting on G. For G7 altered, you're essentially playing the A flat melodic minor scale starting from G. 2. Improvise short phrases using only the notes of the altered scale. Keep it simple at first, and try to connect your phrases to the next chord in the progression. 3. Use patterns to build fluency. For example, G, A flat, B flat, B or C flat, then D flat, E flat, F, G. Patterns help you internalize the scale. Step 4. Applying it to chord progressions. Let's apply this scale in a common progression. G7 altered to C major 7. Over G7 altered, use the altered scale to create tension with notes like A flat flat 9 or E flat flat 13. When you move to C major 7, resolve to a chord tone like E or G. The resolution creates a beautiful sense of release and connection. And that's the G7 altered scale. Practice it in all 12 keys and try using it in IV ein progressions to really make it your own. Thanks for tuning in and happy practicing.